When it comes to AI, we all know that OpenAI's ChatGPT is the undisputed king in that arena. But there are some competitors out there that are looking to dethrone them. Google recently launched their BART. It didn't come out to a good start, but it has definitely grown in capabilities and it is a formidable foe, although it still cannot unthrown them. A lot of people have been wondering what is Apple going to do? Are they going to put their hat in this arena? Are they going to jump into the AI race and try to dethrone ChatGPT? Well, we have our answer, sort of. They actually came in in a very nonchalant way, not as bright and bubbly as a lot of people were expecting them to come, but I'm going to dive into that, tell you what Apple has done, how they actually released it. But before we dive into all the information, if you are new to this channel and enjoy this type of content, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button as well. All right, let's jump into this article right here. Apple releases Ferret 7B multimodal, multimodal large language model. Uh, this is an article on geekygadgets.com. Apple has recently introduced the Ferret 7B, a sophisticated large language model that represents a significant step forward in the realm of artificial intelligence. The new technology is a testament to Apple's commitment to advancing AI and positions the company as a formidable player in the tech industry. The Ferret 7B is engineered to integrate smoothly with both iOS and macOS, taking full advantage of Apple's powerful silicone to ensure users enjoy a fluid experience. Uh, the standout feature of the Ferret 7B is, a multi, is its multimodal capabilities, which allows it to interpret and create content that combines images and text. So let's read that again. Standout feature is that it uh, allows it to interpret and create content that combines images and text. So yeah, so this breakout goes beyond but beyond what traditional text-based AI models can do. The Ferret 7B capabilities are showcased in systems like Google 5.2 coding model and MixL X87B, which are built on Apple's MLX platform and utilize its unique tools. Uh, this is just some of the tools that they were talking about here. I'm not gonna go over that. Uh, there's buzz around the upcoming iOS 18, which is expected to incorporate AI more comprehensively, potentially transforming how users interact with Apple devices. The collaboration between AI advancements and Apple's silicone architecture is likely to result in a more cohesive, powerful ecosystem for both iOS and macOS users. So yeah, so this article was saying that they expect 18 to actually come out with it, so that will probably line up with maybe the release of the iPhone 16. So the iPhone 16 would more than likely be probably the first device to have uh, their AI um, ferret 7B built into it. So that will remain to be seen once that happens in the fall. Um, I doubt they release iOS 18 before that. It, it will make more sense to, well, actually we'll probably see iOS 18 at the Worldwide Developer Conference and then more likely that, that will probably come out on the iPhone 16. Um, here are some of the other articles, no, not that. Uh, for those interested in technical performance of Ferret 7B, Apple has developed the Ferret Bench, a benchmarking tool specifically for this model. This tool will help developers and researchers evaluate the model's efficiency and flexibility in various situations. Apple's approach to AI is centered on creating practical applications that provide tangible benefits to users of its device. Companies' uh, dedication to this strategy is clear from its direct from its decision to make the ferret 7b open source so yeah so that is what apple has done differently compared to what we've seen from open ai and google open ai which is not even open their large language model is actually very closed source well what apple did was they released this back in actually october again no fanfare was under the under the radar no one really talked about it but they released this code out there open source you can actually go over to github Right here, this is the resource for it, and download the the MLM or the LLM if you want to go around and play with it, get geeky and and test it out. But they released that, like I said, open source out there, and I think one of the benefits of using open source is that it will allow a diverse range of ideas and different people to actually look at it and improve upon it. So, Apple's not having the same technical capabilities in terms of server farm server space as say microsoft does they didn't have that same computing power so they say you know we had we can't compete on computing power but what we can do is compete in the arena of giving the 
this out there to the masses and let them iterate on it and improve upon it. And then we'll obviously take that and then incorporate it into our devices and services. So that is a that is actually a very good move by Apple to actually allow this to go out there into the into the, the world out there and let you know a lot of people get their hands on it and improve upon it. So make it different from the other um, um, large language models out there right now. Uh, offering the code and checkpoints to research the purpose. This move encourages further innovation and collaboration within the AI community. Training complex models like the Ferret 7B requires considerable resources and Apple has invested it in this by using NVIDIA's um, A100 GPUs. If those are NVIDIA's uh, AI GPUs that run for anywhere, I've seen them go, what, 10 to maybe $20,000 per. So this reflects the company's deep investment in AI and research development. Uh, let's talk about the model a little bit more. It's important to note that the difference between they have a 7B and they have a larger 13B versions of the model. 7B is likely will be for iOS devices, carefully balancing performance with the constraints of mobile hardware. Uh, this, this strategic decision is in line with Apple's focus on user's experience, ensuring that AI improvements directly benefit the user. Yeah, so so it looks like the 7B will be for their large devices. Obviously, you have to take into consideration the limitations of the hardware, uh, the resources, not only that, the cost that will be. So you will put the smaller one on the devices and then your 13B will more likely be, you know, reserved for larger enterprise um, applications and more demanding hardware that could actually capable of it. Uh, with the release of Ferret 7B LM, Apple has made a bold move in the AI space. The launch showcases the company's technical prowess and commitment to creating powerful user-friendly AI. This development is set to enhance device functionality and enrich user interactions. As Apple continues to invest in AI, we can expect to see more innovations that will significantly impact how we interact with technology. Yeah, so Apple has done that. So let's talk about some of the capabilities that the uh, Ferret can do. So what Ferret is, what they're saying, or what the documentation says here is that Ferret is able to actually look at a picture and then discern what the subjects are, certain relationships between the subjects. As you can see here in this picture here, you can say, you can ask it what is going on in this picture, like what is the relationship between the object in region zero and object in region one. The object in the object is a dog and the object one is a ferret. So it could identify what objects are in the pictures. Now that is a great feature. So I wanted to see what, you know, the current list of LLMs out there could do in this regard as well. So I went over to Google bar and tried to do the same thing. So I went to Google bar and said, you know, what is, what, what is the color of this? So it was able to come back and tell me that this is blue. It's a handmade ceramic cup or the saucer set. So fairly accurate on that one. You know, actually what color are the cups in this picture? Again, Google bar was able to tell me that the colors in the cup are multicolored and had a variety of colors, including blue, green, yellow, pink, and orange. Uh, that, that's probably thinking that's pink. It's probably thinking that's orange. So, and, and then it went on to say it has stripes, polka dots, and floor designs. So not exactly accurate as I would expect. Then, I, then again, I wanted to try the, the whole region thing, but I asked it, what is the color in the teacup inside the green square or box? Then it said here, I couldn't determine it. So that's so, so Google bar is still limited in some of the things that it can do. But I also wanted to compare this to chat GPT-4 and see how that would respond to the situation. Chat GPT-4 was able to tell me the colors in the, of the teacups in this picture. I also wanted to know what was the specific color of the teacup in the green square or box. So it was able to tell me here that the teacup within the green square is yellow. So it does have some of the same capabilities that the uh, that Ferret 7B is actually capable of doing. I also wanted to take it a step further. And this is one of the areas where Ferret is supposed to shine in is that what is the relationship between objects and the pictures? They can go into different regions and tell me what is this object doing? So I asked ChatGPT4, what is the region of this? What is the object, the class of the region and object in region zero? this pic so it did come back and tell me that is a cat so it thinks that this is a cat where according to the documentation fair was able to correctly identify that it was a corgi a corgi dog but chat gpt4 was was confused and said that it was a cat i uh, in one of my earlier tests it did was it was able to tell me that it was 
uh, a cat or dog laying on the floor and then there was a cardboard box in the background with a TV set in the background, but it couldn't recognize what was actually on the TV set itself. So it does look like that uh, chat GPT-4 can do a lot of the things that uh, Ferret is going to do, but it looks like Ferret is going to try to take it a little bit a, a step further and be able to discern the relationships in a better, in a, in a, in a more detailed manner than what uh, chat GPT-4 can or what Bard can. Bard is clearly still lagging behind in that area compared to what um, chat GPT-4 can do. But as of right now, uh, I think chat GPT-4 is still the undisputed king as it is still learning in these areas and it's capable of doing some things that what Ferret is going to do. But we will see what happens once Apple actually releases this out there in the wild and it, it becomes more capable and will it have the opportunity to actually take on chat GPT-4 and dethrone them. That remains to be seen, but it's definitely adds an exciting element to this race in AI to see what is going to happen between the big boys here as Apple has entered the arena. A lot of people were waiting for that and speculating what Apple would do. Like I said, they released it very, you know, quietly, but I'm, I'm assuming once they, you know, iron out some of the wrinkles, get everything better, then they'll probably have a more grandiose reveal, probably at, like I said, Worldwide Developer Conference once they talk about that and iOS 18. So just let me know what your thoughts are about what Apple is trying to do here. Uh, are you interested in Apple's AI or in Ferret 7B? Let me know down in the comment section. I would love to converse with you about that down there. Once again, thank you for taking time out to watch this video. If you are new to this channel and enjoy this type of content, do me that huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And chances are, if you enjoy this type of content, somebody in your family or friends may enjoy this as well. So share this with them as well. Also, if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech news, head over to soundsnerdy.com where I curate and aggregate tech news from around the web covering Apple, Samsung, Google, Android, computing, and even more tech news all at the website soundsnerdy.com. And for even more tech news and video form, check out one of these videos right here. Until the next video, guys, stay nerdy.